One of the ways of doing this is research, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about some research in my lab in which my associates, uh, Dr. Carl Allen and Lu Nan Lee, and I are investigating not only the histocytes, but also the lymphocytes. And we've been very lucky uh, recipients of support from parents uh, not only here in Houston, but also throughout the world. The Histocytosis Association of America and the National Institutes of Health has awarded me a, a grant to study this. And we're looking at gene expression. That means what is a gene doing in the RNA profiles of the Langerhan cells and comparing those uh, from the diseased uh, Langerhan cells with normal cell, Langerhan cells from the skin and lymphocytes from these patients, not only in their blood, but also from the LCH lesions. We take these uh, histocytes that I showed you earlier that were supposed to be uh, just in the skin, but then went out to other parts of the body, and we have a way of purifying these out of the lesions so that we can get live cells from fresh biopsy specimens. What we do is something, it uses some colored dyes we call immunophenotyping, that will bind to some characteristics on the surface of the cell called CD some number. This is CD4 and these are CD2. This is just an example of two different kinds of dyes, one green and one red, which would bind different characteristics on the surface of the cell. And when you put the cell through a very fancy uh, instrument called a, a flow cytometer in using some lasers, you can actually shine light, which shows up cells that might have something on the surface that's red versus a yellow or versus a green. And then when they go through a flow cell, it's possible to separate the red cells from the green cells from the yellow cells. And that way you get a, a pure population of the longer Han cells or the T cells. And in fact, that's what we show here. And this is uh, all the cells from one of these lesions. There are just millions and millions of cells and we only take the cells that eliminate or don't take up this uh, stain called PI because a dead cell takes it up but a live cell doesn't. So we want these live cells over here and we take just this group of cells and we stain them with that CD207 for the Langerhans cells, we stain them with CD3 for the T cells and this picture shows all the T cells that we get out there, CD3 positive and this part's all the CD207 positive Langerhan cells. Well, this looks like a lot of cells, but in fact, we may only get 10,000 or maybe close to a million cells out of one of these biopsies. And to study the gene expression, we need about a million fold more amount of the RNA than we can get from these cells. So there's a very clever trick that is now available from some uh, commercial sources in which we use something called amplification through some enzymes and we get the, the RNA would be just one of this red line here with a red box on the end and we duplicate it uh, through some enzyme tricks and then we put it into kind of an enzyme amplification system. You almost might think of this as an energy wheel here which is going to make more and more and more of these strands of RNA. So we amplify this up more than a million fold so that we can get enough RNA to do a very special experiment called a gene chip experiment in which this little glass box here has dots on it which are separate genes. Over 33,000 different genes are on this particular array and the binding of our RNA which has got a special little label on it will cause some colors to be made when a laser fluorescent light is exposed to this chip and in that way we can see which genes are activated, which ones are up and which ones are down. And I think only by using such a very complicated system can we put the story together. I mean it's good to have little bits of information where we got five or ten genes that we looked at. In fact we did some experiments looking at 100 different genes but still the immune system is way too complex to understand the big picture by looking at a few at a time. So what are we going to learn? Well we hope and I really expect we will learn that from these experiments we're going to find out which different genes are turned on in patients of the different uh, clinical categories. So it might be a different set of genes turned on for a patient with just a bone disease versus those that have disease in their liver and lungs. 
And also we want to see if we can find out those patients have a certain gene profile, are going to respond to therapy early versus not so well, and maybe we can pick them out of the group earlier and give them more intense therapy and get better results. Another part of this experiment, besides looking at the histocytes, is to look at the lymphocytes. Because if we could discover something about the lymphocytes that are floating around in the blood of the patient that identified the characteristics of the patient as they presented, that would be even easier than looking at the biopsies. So we're going to be looking kind of at two directions. In fact, there's also another way of looking at very rare dendritic cells in the blood, and we're going to be doing that in the future. So, what can you do to help? Well, if you are a patient or a parent who has a child who's going to have a biopsy in the near future, it would be like a present of gold to us to have a fresh biopsy specimen sent to our lab. And we have a IRB approved protocol and we could send you a consent and help your doctor send that fresh tissue to us in a condition where it would be useful for our experiments. We can do some work on frozen biopsy specimens and, and paraffin embedded specimens, but the best results are going to come from the fresh tissue. My contact information is listed on the screen here. More importantly, I think, is for you to help the Histocytosis Association of America raise funds for research so that other investigators throughout the world can also have uh, support for their research. And this you can uh, do by contacting the HAA at these numbers and website here to uh, help you get fundraising projects going. Thank you very much.